Now is the perfect time to start preparing your Etsy store for success in the new year. So in today's video, I want to share with you some really cool features within Etsy that can really help boost your sales. So what I'm talking about here is the, uh, the coupon codes, uh, setting up discounts and sales within your store and how you can actually go about that to generate more sales throughout your months. And I also want to talk about the visual presentation of your store because this is crucial to your success as a whole because you could do all the right things, you know, have great keywords and, you know, you know how to sell. But if your listing images, if that main thumbnail image does not get clicked on, well, then you lose out on sales. Hey there, welcome back guys. And oh my gosh, almost 1000 subscribers. Thank you so much for being here and for watching my videos. I'm just excited to see where this is all going to lead to. So what initially inspired me to do this video today was uh, pretty much I have been doing free audits, free Etsy store audits to um, subscribers to my email list. And I wasn't expecting to do this. I just said in the email, hey, let me know what's your biggest challenges and struggles with, you know, selling digital products online, starting your Etsy shop. And then, um, you know, people responded to me and then I said, hey, um, you know, how about I go have a look at your store and I'll have a look through and see where I may be able to help you and give you some feedback. And what I noticed from this was just incredible. And I'm really excited to share this with you also today. So I did these free Etsy audits just purely because I wanted to for fun. I wasn't trying to sell a course or a program, um, you know, behind that. I just genuinely, genuinely wanted to do it right. I'm not an Etsy coach. I am not an Etsy expert. I have no desire to be any of those, right? So anyway, back to the video. Uh, after doing these audits, what I noticed while I was doing my own Etsy research was I noticed that these products that I had been looking at in these people's stores, they were actually ranking on the first page of these searches that, that I was doing. And the interesting thing here was these shops are like brand new, under you know a month old, no more than 10 listings. And the fact that their listings are showing up on the first page, that says a lot, like there is so much potential there for Etsy. I don't care what anyone else says, it's like I saw it for myself. And so what I'm getting at here is if these new sellers can come in and show up on page one, it's so important that your listing images, the thumbnail image, the main image that people see in the search, it's appealing and it makes people want to like click and it just pulls them into your store. Okay, this goes to show you don't need to, you know, spend heaps of money on ads. You don't need to have hundreds of listings in your store to be able to show up. So it's really important that you have good keywords. You know how to sell. You know what to, you know how to write your Etsy listing descriptions and all that. That's great. But the main thing that is going to get people to come into your store is your listing images, that main thumbnail image. Okay, is it clear? Is it appealing? Does it pull people in to want to know more and then come to your store? This is what is going to drive um, most of your Etsy sales, okay? Well, if not like all of them is that main image. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples of some really good uh, listing images. So those thumbnail images. So I have typed in fitness coach into the search bar on Etsy and this is the first page. And so you wanna really pay attention to um, the listings that show up like in the first first few rows generally the first page is really good but these ones up the top here that don't have ads running on them so this very top row here are they are running ads so I don't really care for that right now uh, this right here these ones are obviously selling really well so if you have a look here it's very clear what these templates are what this digital product is they are Instagram templates for a fitness coach and notice how they've got that in like very clear bold white text in the middle there and then they've got really clear images of what's included in these templates and same for this one next to it as well for the personal trainer so these listing images are really clear and you know exactly you know who they're for there's no confusion there and you know if I was a fitness coach looking for some Instagram templates I would probably want to click on on these and see what's in there 
And here are some more examples that I've scrolled down to. So uh, for example, this, this one right here, this is not a great example of a good listing image because as you can see, a lot of the text, so I'm pointing to this one here if you can see it, the text here is like cut off. So if you were to quickly glance at that, I wouldn't know what that, what that says because half the text is cut off. I'm just going to keep scrolling through that one. Uh, here is a great example of what not to do. Uh, I don't know who's this is. This is no, I'm not like um, hating on this person. Absolutely not because at least they are creating and they're showing up and doing stuff. I'm going to try not to hover over it because the video keeps coming up, but I'm, I'm talking about this one here. Okay. So it says 50 fitness Instagram posts. Now, as you can see, there is way too much text on this main image. It's very tiny. You have to squint. You have to go really close to see what that's about. Um, so already I know this is obviously a brand new Etsy beginner who has made that. And like I said, you know, good on them that they've actually done something and created something. So I, I'm not, you know, trying to like be negative about it. I'm just like showing you examples of what's a great example of a good clear listing image and what not to do. So I'm glad that I was able to actually um, find a few there to actually show you the difference of, you know, that clarity. Is it appealing? Is it clear? Is there too much going on? Like in this listing image here, like this one here, that's it's there's way too much going on there. Um, I would just be scrolling right through that. OK, now let's have a look at uh, some banners. So I've already got one here for this shop. And as you can see, this is a great example of a nice clear banner in their shop. There's not too much happening there. Um, straight away, you know, they're selling social media templates. They've got a nice picture of a phone here um, and it tells you exactly what they're selling. Social media templates, picture of a nice, nice lady there. It's clear and it's just to the point. There's not too much going on there. This is perfect. And guys, if you're getting value from this video, hit that like button and subscribe. And guys, if you do want to sell social media templates and you want to create some Etsy listing images that are of high quality and that are going to be cohesive for your brand, you can check out my Etsy listing templates bundle. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. They are a bunch of mock-up templates um, for those of you who don't want to create your listing images from scratch. I haven't created um, any mock-ups yet for any other types of digital products. I may do that in the future. Um, we'll see how we go. So you can actually um, make similar listing images like this that look professional. I've actually made uh, mock-up templates for you. So you can check that out. The link is in the description. Okay, so let's set up a sale that you can run and you can run these sales monthly if you choose to. I use it. I do these monthly. You don't have to. It's totally up to you. The example shop that I'm using here is an old shop of mine that it's not active. I don't use it. I just use it, use it purely for recording my tutorials on YouTube. So, and if you're wondering why it looks different and there's like heaps of white space here, it's because I'm actually recording on my Mac uh, computer. So the screen is like huge. So that's why it does that. So I'll have to try and sort that out and fix that. But anyway, let's set up these sales. So to do that, you want to be inside your shop manager and then you want to head down to where it says marketing. We click there and then we're going to scroll down to sales and discounts. Then you are going to head over here where it says run a sale. Now the percentage off, so customize your sale. So running a sale can help you clear out inventory, attract new customers and encourage shoppers to spend more. The discount you offer is totally up to you. So you can choose percentage off. Now the other option there would be for someone who doesn't sell digital products. So for all of you guys, it's percentage off and you actually get to choose how much percentage you want to give off. Now it just automates it to 25. I always actually go to custom and I always do 20%. I just like that number. It's totally up to you. You can choose whatever you want. Where is the off valid? It's everywhere. So everywhere in the world. Order minimum. I always just keep it at none. But once again, this is up to you. The sale duration. 
I don't think you can do the sale for longer than a month. So you generally just pick a day. So what today's the 11th and then we would run that through till somewhere around, um, let's see if it works that, yeah, one month there. So four, four weeks and terms and conditions, you can add some stuff in there if you want. And then you can actually name the sale. This is just for, for you, like your, um, no one else will see this. This is just for you to keep track of all the sales that you're running. So you can literally make this up, call it whatever you want. Um, I generally do it at, uh, so I usually say something like, um, you know, June 2023. It's just easy for me to remember. And then you would click on continue. Which listings are included? You can select all listings in your shop or you can just go through and select whichever listings you want. Then you head down to review and confirm and then you review it and then confirm and create sale. Your sale is now live. Okay, so here's what happens when you run a sale in your store. So all the people that have favorited your shop or they have um, favorited one of your items or they follow your shop, what happens is they get a notification that you are now running a sale. Now, what this does is it brings people into your store to come and check out like, you know, what else you have uploaded. So this is why it's important to regularly keep um, uploading new listings because people will always, people who have, um, you know, they're following your shop, they obviously like your stuff or your style or something. And so they want to know like, okay, what is this person up to? Have they uploaded anything new? And so this really helps generate more sales and I see it for myself as well. So anytime I start, um, you know, it's the beginning of a new month and I'm running a new sale, there's always an influx of sales that come in because people are getting notified she's running a sale. What else has she uploaded into her store? If they see something they like, they're going to buy it, right? And so this is what um, I have been doing for the past 12 months because I never actually used to uh, run monthly sales. Like I actually never had any sales. I was just always selling everything at full price. And then obviously, you know, as you know, Etsy grew and more sellers came onto the platform selling my type of digital products, there was just, um, you know, I, I realized I had to be competitive with my prices. And so this is just a strategy that I use. It works for me. And so I get that influx of sales um, after I run the sale. And then that just boosts all of those listings that people have bought. It just boosts them and helps them, you know, show up in the search uh, more better. And yeah, it's just, it just works for me. Okay, so now let's set up some coupons, some discounts in your store and set them up for automation. This is gonna really help generate more sales for you. Now, what I'm about to share with you, I only started doing this a few months into my Etsy journey. I had no idea that this was even a thing because I totally neglected, um, you know, really looking into my Etsy shop, the dashboard, you know, all those features there about your analytics. I like totally ignored all of that because I just wanted to create, you know, digital products because that's my passion. Um, so I didn't know about any of this. And so I feel like it's really important for me to share it with you, especially if you are an Etsy beginner. All right, let's set up some automated offers, discounts that get automatically sent to previous buyers and interested buyers who potentially want to buy your stuff. They'll just get a little reminder. Hey, you've got this in your cart. Would you like an extra, you know, 10% off? Um, things like that. I think this is really cool that Etsy actually has this feature. So let's work on creating this thank you, um, this thank you discount. So this is what will bring customers back. So people who have already purchased from you, Etsy will automatically send this offer to them. So you actually get to choose, um, how much percentage you want to give them off. I like to give um, my buyers 30% off because they've already purchased from me. Like why not just give them 30% off? And then in this area here, you want to just add in the promo code that they are going to enter in at checkout. So something like thank you 30. 
and that is that now you could just create that one offer and then head down to here where it says create one offer but i highly recommend you also create an offer for the abandoned basket and a favorited item so let's go through those so abandoned basket so this offer will get sent to someone after they have actually added something into their cart into their basket and so they'll get this little reminder that says you know something along the lines of you know receive you know 10 percent off um you know just to sort of hurry them along to make the purchase once again you would just um make up whatever that code would be so come back 10. so that's great for people who have forgotten uh, items in their cart in their basket there they will receive this automatically from etsy and it actually works like i highly recommend you have this offer set up i highly recommend you have all the offers set up actually um, and favorited item you want to create a discount for that as well so uh, send an offer when someone favorites one of your items so let's just say someone favorites your item this will automatically send them a discount for once again, whatever price you want, it's up to you, your fave 15. So once you are happy with these targeted offers, these discounts that you have created, come down here, create three offers and there you go. They're good to go. Your offers will be automatically emailed to eligible shoppers. So this is such a great feature that Etsy has and it does it all for you in the background automatically. And I find this definitely does help increase my sales. So if you haven't already set this up in your shop, I highly recommend you do that and get ready, um, you know, to make more sales in the coming year. All right, let's set up a promo code. So this is a code that up here this is a code that you will create if you want to run like some sort of like special so you know um, in some stores the store banners of some shops they'll have you know buy two items or more save 30% enter this code at checkout this is how you would generate that code so the percentage off the discount off it's totally up to you let's just work with 30% for this video number of items the order minimum the number of items you get to choose this so let's just say two now the duration for this particular promo code you can set a particular date um, if you've got a special running like you know for um, you know a particular time of the year or you just want to you know have that code running for whatever reason you can choose the date like, like what we did uh, with when we made our sale live or you can hit no end date and this code will be active for um, anyone to use forever. So that's pretty cool. And then you want to name this particular code. So for example, save 30. That is the code that you'll be sharing on social media that you'll be sharing, um, you know, maybe in your store banner or in your um, description area. Then you'll head down here to review and confirm. I must add in a date or just add in today's date. Okay. Review your details. And then you head down to confirm and create code. Oh, and you know why that didn't work? Because I actually already created one with save 30. So I just need to change that to save 40. Confirm and create code. Yep. And that's done. And the very last thing I just want to add in here is to have patience, like extreme patience, because, um, you know, a lot of people were worried, like, when am I going to have my first sale? You know, I opened my shop a month ago and I it's just like you have to be patient. Like it's very normal and common for a lot of new Etsy shops to not have their first sale for the first few months okay keep going and if you want to learn more about selling on etsy you can check out these videos here and if you love this video hit that like button and subscribe